Hello, scrap enthusiasts. My neighbor changed out his stove. These are basically all steel, but we should be able to find some goodies under all these screws. Thankfully, we don't need to bother removing the glass. set these aside. Now this seal looks metallic, but it's not. It's just some kind of fiber. Now back here is where the exciting stuff should be, like this cord. Those bolts look like they could be brass, but they're not. Well, that could have been bad. Lots more cords. We're just going to take everything off. Those are interesting. This is kind of a mess. Much better. So these are the wires that are probably worth stripping. Everything 14 gauge and larger. These ones on the other hand we could strip, but they're pretty small. And then these heat shielded ones, same thing. Small, but also annoying to strip. Let's get these out of the way for now. I'm curious what's inside here. Ah. This 
Let's remove that. We'll come back to that. This stuff looks kind of fun. Bit of a mess, but fun still. I gotta remove this. This little center piece is the only bit I'm interested in. Because there are silver buttons in here, but they're very, very small. These are probably just dirty stainless, because there's nothing of value inside. This one is a little more interesting. Those teeny tiny wires could be platinum, rhodium, or iridium. I'm not sure how to test for those. And this is nichrome. And it's actually the high nickel content that's making it magnetic. Same as these two cores here. Also nichrome. It's not common all bare and clean like this. Now, let's have a look in these. Little bit of copper. if that's silver. There is an easy way to tell. That is with silver test acid. If this is silver, this should go a bright beet red pink. Yeah, that's a no. What about in this one? This is a little different. Still copper pieces. With some silver buttons on them. They're not large, but I want the copper clean in this situation. Certainly not much out of all that. bothering with the brass because there was very little of it and uh, most of these connectors are not brass. Now what's in this? Okay, pretty plain, but there's a few goodies in the form of these relays. Each of them has a spool of fine copper wire.
and some flakes of copper with a little silver button on each. Not much for silver. But again, I want the copper clean. This is a pretty fiddly way to collect copper, but at least it's pretty. Now this little mechanism. These switches also have little pieces of copper with little pieces of silver, but I mean really little. We're not gonna fuss over those. This, on the other hand... decent spool of copper in here. There we go. Let's move on to these wires. I'm not doing brass this time, so this can sit in a bin somewhere. Let's get these cleaned up. All of these smaller ones are tinned copper. Makes them generally not worth stripping. But there is some clean copper in there as well. Of course, all the good stuff came from the power cord. It's a fair bowl of copper. So how do we do? Yes, I forgot to zero the scale out on these, but they are not the exciting part, because I don't have anyone to buy them from me. My yard just gives me dirty stainless, which might be better than trying to hang on to them. I think this will be a good one.
There's something wonderful about those green flames. I just wanted to pause and appreciate that. It's a beautiful pool of copper. I should have stopped before I added the last piece. But I didn't. And I learned that was a mistake. I had a really hard time keeping the copper molten around the edges. Maybe a different torch head would help, but for now... Well, you'll see. cold edge didn't pour out, so I had to continue melting it and add it to a different dish. So I, I suppose I hit the upper limit of how much copper I can melt with this setup. Looks good on one side. Kinda ugly on the other side. We'll see how it comes out. It's a bit ugly, but I like it. Oh, and I got a new engraver, and just for fun, I spent a little more time chipping some flux off. It looks a lot better. The loss was not too bad this time. 
and that's the total yield from this oven, if I can find a buyer for Nichrome. Like and subscribe for more Scrap Metal Adventures. I'll see you on the next one.